Hi, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to find the inverse of a rational function. As far as finding an inverse goes, it doesn't matter what type of function that you're dealing with. Your first step is always going to be to rewrite whatever your function letters are. In this case, I have g of x as y. So I'm going to rewrite this as y equals 4 over x plus 2 plus 2. And the reason I do that is y is easier to write over and over again than g of x. So step two, remember that inverse functions switch your x and your y coordinates. So we actually want to switch the location of x and y. So I would rewrite this as x equals 4 over y plus 2 plus 2. Because inverse functions, what they do is they switch the x and the y coordinates. Step three is to solve for y. So y is in the denominator, and a lot of times students struggle with what to do when y is in the denominator, which is why I wanted to do one of these, because they can be a little bit more complicated. The first thing that you want to do is get the fraction that contains y by itself. So that means that anything that is not contained in the fraction, we want to move to the other side. So I'm going to bring the 2 to the other side. And remember that when it changes sides, it changes signs. So we really have x minus 2 equals 4 over y plus 2. And now what we could do to get rid of the fraction is multiply both sides by y plus 2. But there is a shortcut. Every single time that you have to solve for a variable that is in the denominator, basically what happens is these two things are going to switch locations. Because if I first multiplied by y plus 2, then I would have to move this over here. I would have to divide both sides by x minus 2. So if I just switch them, it really just gives me a shortcut. So I'm going to rewrite this as y plus 2 equals 4 over x minus 2. Now I simply just need to get y by itself. So to do that, I have to get rid of this. So it goes to the other side. So I end up with y equals 4 over x minus 2 minus 2. Since the positive 2 switch sides, it changes signs and it becomes negative 2. And then don't forget that your final step is to rewrite it in inverse notation. This time, because I use g of x, I would just write it as g to the negative 1 of x. It doesn't matter what your equation is. Um, if you started with an f of x, then you write it as f to the negative 1 of x. If you write it as, um, if, since we started with g of x, I would write this as g to the negative 1 of x. And so basically what this is saying is that the inverse of my g equation, if I switch the coordinates of my x and y, my resulting equation is going to be 4 over x minus 2 minus 2. So this would give me my inverse function for the function g of x equals 4 over x plus 2 plus 2. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, if there are other topics that you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.